Hello, my name is Eric McFarlane. I'm the Deputy Commissioner for the Infrastructure Division at the Department of Design and Construction. We are now standing at the Federal Grass Circle at the intersection of Central Park West and West 110th Street. The first step of the project was to select a design for the memorial. Uh, a competition was held and a collaborative proposal was won by two artists, uh, one for the plaza, which is Arjun Miller, and a sculptor for the, for the statue, which is Gabriel Cohen. Each element of this quarter acre memorial reflects an aspect of Freddie Douglass's life. The fountain wall is studded with stars forming constellation pattern as a reminder of the guides used by slaves seeking freedom. The water feature of the constellation wall was designed to produce two distinctive and independent operating water features using the same structure. A waterfall effect on the west side of the wall as water flows down the surface of the bronze at the constant space. On the east side, water surges intermittently from opening at the foot of the wall into surf edge basins carved into the granite surface. The circle itself is clad almost entirely in granite, including raised elements for sitting, decorated barred, paving stone laid out in 22 distinctive quilt pattern. Each granite piece was custom made and chosen to reflect the vision of the artist. Quotes from Frederick Douglass and facts concerning his life adorn the circle. They, are, they can be found etched in the granite elements, in the brass across the steps, and in the bronze relief on the fountain wall itself. This eight-foot bronze statue was sculpted by Gabriel Cohen. This is the last of the series of monuments, collectively known as Gateway to Harlem, uh, dedicated to significant African-American figure in American history. A bronze railing in the shape of sequential wagon wheels borders the edge of the circle, reminiscent of the means of travel used at that time. The magnitude of the plaza gave us the opportunity to tie, or the ability to tie the plaza to Central Park. And we did this by planting trees and using the same granite material at the northwest entrance of Central Park. Constructing uh, 138 feet diameter traffic circle in an already congested area had some very, was very complex. Traffic flow and pedestrian mobility and safety had to be maintained throughout the project. A dedicated me mechanical room was built underground to accommodate the pumps and uh, electrical components required for the operation of the fountain wall. Existing mm -hmm. surface utilities had to be relocated to make room for this. To complicate matter, the entire structure is located above a sober line, limiting the available space below and requiring additional structural engineering consideration. In addition to the plaza, we also did the total construction of the area of Western and 10th Street from Central Park West to Columbus Avenue and Manhattan Avenue from Western and 10th Street to Western and 20th Street. Underground, we replaced all the sewers and water main, and, and uh, above ground, we did the roadway, curb, and sidewalk. The project had some additional benefits, including improvement of water quality by replacing the old water mains, upgrading the sewer size for increased capacity, and decorative traffic signal, street lighting elements around the circle. Working through the complexity and magnitude of this project, we emerged successful in creating a great monument to an American icon and a public plaza that will be enjoyed by the community for decades to come.